The end of ministry is to establish a righteous government in the earth. Why? Because it, that, through that government, we will be able to see a proper distribution of God's wealth. Is this making sense, though? Because, you see, the word of the Lord, I think it's uh, 1 Corinthians 4, 20. It says that the kingdom of God is not just word. It is what? Power. Am I right? It's not just Holy Ghost power either, Bishop. I'm talking about because we super spiritualize that there is only Holy Ghost, but it's talking about actual power. Amen? Amen. So how do you define actual power in, in contemporary terms? Actual power in contemporary terms is who's got all the money? Amen. Money is power. Am I right about this, Bishop? Money is power. Amen. So who's got all the money, and then who's got all the guns? Amen. Because guns are power. Am I right about this, Archbishop? So who's got all the guns and who's got all the money in society? <laughs> government, amen? <laughs> Ain't nobody got more guns than government. Who's got more guns than government in here? We want to identify you right away, amen? Nobody's got more guns than the government, amen? And nobody's got more money than the government. So the kingdom of God, the power that he's talking about is governmental power, saints. It has to be governmental power. The power to distribute the national wealth is at the hand of government. And so the people who sign to distribute that wealth must be righteous. If they are not righteous, it will never get distributed. Say amen to this. Sentence. 